What is going on guys, DX1 here, back again with another Pokemon Go presentation. So, before we start today's video, I just want to take care of a few housekeeping components. So, I was just finishing off the rest of the Florida vlog footage, and I realized that I did miss um, a pretty big detail that was unveiled recently for the Pokemon Go Community Day event. So, I want to go over that right now. So, the new feature Pokemon for this month is going to be Dratini. The event is going to be February 24th from 2 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you guys can go ahead and convert those times to whatever time zone that you're currently living in. And we're going to have three hour lures and three times. Bonus starters for catching Pokemon, not hatching eggs, but for catching. That is a amazing, amazing Stardust gain. So, Dratini is going to have the exclusive move Draco Meteor when you evolve it into Dragonite. Now, please note that the Dratini only is going to have Draco Meteor if it spawns during the current three hour period. So, it's only going to be able to learn Draco Meteor if it spawns during the community day three hour time period. So, DMs and HMs will not work to give you this exclusive move. In fact, it specifically states, fast TMs and charge TMs will not grant exclusive moves during community day. To learn this, the exclusive move, you must catch or evolve the featured Pokemon during community day hours. So, um, I like how they specifically stated because um, I'm sure that there was a lot of confusion and I'm really, really glad that Niantic was able to clear that up. So, once again, you're going to have Dratini spawning. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and say outright that there is a shiny Dratini that is coming to Pokemon Go because a lot of people are very, very confident about it. However, it's not confirmed. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hang on and see what happens on Saturday. I'm going to see if they actually give us shiny Dratini with Draco Meteor. That's just a little OP, but definitely looking forward to um, Community Day this Saturday. I'm going to try to get a vlog out from it. Probably try to get a vlog finished by Saturday night and then get it uploaded by Sunday along with the Chill and Grind nightly stream. For Community Day, this Saturday, the 24th of February, we're going to be getting the exclusive move Draco Meteor times three Stardust and three hour lures for the entire duration of the event. So go and make sure you get out there and go to your local parks, um, find your local Discord, find your local Pokemon Go Facebook group, meet up with other people, link up with other Pokemon raid groups. Just try to have a great time. Just try to have a great time out there this Saturday playing Pokemon Go with your community. And I will see you guys in the next one. Now let's go back to Florida. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? DX1 here, back again with another Pokemon Go presentation. We have two Swablus right here. I'm just trying to check the first one. It is not shiny, but have no fear. We have another one. We're going to shiny check right here. Oh, wait. g signal not found. That's weird. Does this mean it's shiny? Could this be shiny? It's not shiny. All right, well, who's waiting for another travel vlog? And we are here at the Hyatt Fountain Gym, and we're gonna do the local thing. We're gonna post the local Florida regional. So I'm gonna post up my hair across, and we are gonna get started with our day today. Lots of things to do. Uh, we're gonna be in, in Orlando, Florida, for a couple of days, and an, an awesome Pokemon Go adventure. Lo, just just feast your eyes on two regional Pokemon back to back of each other. Team Mystic holding this gym down. Let's keep on going. Hey, look what we got here. Oh my god, there's two of them. I haven't seen a Heracross in Pokemon Go since Chicago. 1452 CP. What a day, guys. What a day, guys. Welcome to Florida. Welcome to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. We got one of our first Pokemon of the day. It's going to be a Heracross. We're going we're gonna to go. We're going to double up. We're going to double up. Why not? Why not? Let's double up with the Heracross magic. 2,324? This is an instant gym placement. What? Oh my gosh, guys. It's so lit right now. Double Heracross spawn to start the day off. Oh my gosh. Does that get any better than that? 759. Um... Heracross candies on the year, and it's a non-shiny Swablu, but 
Hair across the start today doesn't get any better than that, guys. Haven't even been here for like an hour. This is the third hair cross of the day today, guys. This is insanity. I'm um, coming in at 2,413. Guys, we are getting weather boosted freaking hair cross. Yo, just, just drop, drop a comment. Just drop a comment. Weather boosted Florida hair cross hype, guys. This is amazing. Okay, so. These hair crosses have been, they've been kind of aggressive in their attack motions. Uh, they've been attacking me a lot, and it's been causing some pretty difficult catch sequences, but we got the hair across down, and now I'm going to look for my room so I can actually take this hoodie off because it is humid as hell out here. And, um, oh, is that another one? Oh, there's a nose pass. Somebody got the nose pass as well. Um, the level 5 raid was actually a Kyogre, so I'm actually not interested in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. So we're not going to go do that. However, we are going to be on the lookout for some Rayquaza raids. Hopefully we'll be able to pick some Rayquazas up in the course of the day. I want to get a Rayquaza while I'm out on the vacation here today, so... Hopefully we can get ourselves... Uh, Pokedex Wake Quasa we still need. We still need Pokedex Corsola as well. Still haven't seen one on the nearby, but you know when I see that Corsola silhouette on the nearby, you know I'm jetting to it. So, um, today's objective is basically going to be Pokedex Wake Quasa, Pokedex Corsola if we can find it on the nearby. We're going to get some awesome rare Pokemon spawns here in, in Disney World. So, let's see what we can get. Already got Heracross, so one of the three. Alright guys. Heracross number, first of all, a shiny Techie Swablu because they could be shiny. Um, this one's not. Um, let's check the other one. Um, non shiny. All right. So, uh, no shiny Swablu, but we got ourselves. Our, this is like our fifth Heracross of the day. I don't know what's going on with these spawns, but I am most certainly not complaining. I'm going to run way out of pineapple berries, but um, it's well worth it for the Heracross explosion over the course of today. So, it is like super humid today. I'm already sweating. I'm just gonna try to get to my room and get, uh, two Swablu just popped up. Let's see if we can shiny check these two as well. Uh, this one's a non-shiny Swablu, and we're gonna pick another one. It's non-shiny. All right, so um, Heracross is down. No shiny Swablu. Still looking for that Corsola. Let's keep grinding. So shout out to Disney World with the epic spawns, guys. I don't know what's up with these spawns today, but get ourselves a Ralts at 290 CP. Um, I'm running desperately low on pineapple berries, so I'm going to stop pineapping all of these hair cross that keep popping all over the area. Instead, I'm going to go focus on getting some Ralts, getting some extra Pokemon Go candy. So, Ralts, we should have about 350 Ralts candies if I can pick this up. Right, oh, it broke away. All right, no, no big deal. We're going to rock another pineapple berry. This time, we're going to go Ultra Ball. And we're going to nail the great throw right in its face. Still looking out for that Corsola. Still haven't found it yet, but... Ralts down. Uh, I was trying to take the Swablu real quick. Non shiny. And nope. All right. The grind continues. All right. Well, I'm not good at love, but what I am good at is Stardust. So, um, we just got the news. Actually, Pokemon Master Holly, um, can you report to us what recently we just discovered was, that it's in Pokemon Go? Shiny Love Disc and three times Stardust. Three times Stardust and Shiny Love Disc in Pokemon Go. So we got ourselves a Love Disc right here, 313 CP. I do have my Star Piece activated. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at how much Stardust we're going to get from this Love Disc. Interestingly enough, um, we're going to be actually Shiny Hunting and Stardust grinding for all of these love discs. Not shiny, but look at that. 450 bonus Stardust acquired from the love disc catch. And guys, I did the liberty of luring this entire park around here. So all we have to do is just walk around. It is going to be a Stardust grind fest today. For the rest of the night, hopefully, uh, Pokemon Master Holly, are you excited to get yourself a shiny love disc? Yes, I want the Stardust for only love disc and Chansey. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get it. <laughs> Yeah, zero to Walgreens, right? Yeah, we're following your okay. location that you're sharing. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, just making. I, gotta so I thought go. you were going to the airport. I was like, oh crap, I have to go to the airport. No, you don't. You don't. No. You're fine. I'm just letting you know so you're aware where we're at and why it's taken us a minute. Because we had to go through the airport because okay. we came from the hotels. Remember? Yeah. It takes you. It takes you across and north. Uh -huh. Alright, cool. We'll see you soon. Bye. Alright, so we got another Wingle here, 10 CP. Um, 
got to rock the pineapple berry. I actually haven't rocked the pineapple berry for the oh, Julia, for the no for the kidding. last. Um, your boy Reversal is rushing me here, no, I'm but kidding, I'm kidding. I actually haven't pineapped a Wingo for the past couple of times I've actually encountered one. So this time we got to get the pineapple berry down, and let's see how many candies we're up to on the year for some Wingo. 18 Wingo candies, and so far, um, yeah, we need we have a lot more to go, but. Honestly, guys, Wingo isn't as common as I thought it would be. Uh, also, we got a Taylor right here, so why not just pick this up? I actually hatched a 100% Taylor. So, guys, if you didn't know, 100% for Taylor is 566 CP. And we're going to go ahead and pick this up. Also, we're headed to mini golf and to dinner. And then I may have to talk to Google because they're not letting me buy Pokecoins anymore for some odd reason. I have to get, uh, scream in their face. And um, yeah, that's how things are going so far. We have a very, very special, special power-up, the final power-up that I want to make, and... <laughs> and we have a very special guest who's going to be doing the honors for this final um, YouTube power-up that I need. So 91%, um, not 15 attack, 14 attack, I believe 12, 15 um, stamina, so... Um, I want to ask if you could do the honors of this final push for Absolutely. this going to max up. Make it, it really dramatic. Three thousand nine hundred and thirty-nine. It's a ninety-one percent. My best Mewtwo. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot. There's this one too. Yep. Uh, yes. Uh. It froze. <laughs> it. <laughs> Too it froze. It froze due to the anticipation, guys. But there it is. 39, 39. 39, 39. Going to be my strongest Pokemon until I actually get um, Kyogre and Groudon in the fray. Um, but hey, um, after this Saturday, we should have enough candies to get those legendary Pokemon maxed out. So um, hopefully, I just have to do some work with the Stardust. But once again, um, Nick, thank you very much for um, of course, of course. the power for the power up and. Any final words? That's better than my Mewtwo. So, <laughs> better than 69. That was cool. <laughs> better than 69. All right, guys. I think this is going to be the end of uh, this Florida episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.